So you were what, maybe 16? No, oh, no, much younger. 10? Yeah. 10 years old, 11, something like this? Yeah. And and why did you have to go to Hitler? Well, he, wanted, he wanted to shake his Alexa, kids. Alexa, pause. He wanted to shake all oh, photo op. Yeah. And so your class was chosen to go shake Hitler's hand. Yeah. And so that's why you just told me, what was the first thing you said before I turned the camera on? You told me something about Hitler's hands. Yeah, clammy. Hitler had clammy hands that you, yeah. you, you came out as with As far as I could see. Yeah, so when you were 10 years old, you were already being shaken hands by Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Now, was this before or after the scene where you were with your mom and they came in and said, the Fuhrer? Yeah, but... My, that that my, was before my... or after? When you shook his hand, you hadn't met him yet? You had that. Ha I don't think that had happened. I think first, what happened first was in the cafe, and then after that, that's when you had the yeah. that other experience where you had yeah. to shake his hand. Yeah, he had a sort of clammy hands. I wonder why. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the, the way I remember it, okay. Yeah, sort of co cold and moist. You mean? Yeah. Huh. They were not cold directly. But they were moist, sort of, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but I don't know how you take it, but to me, that's kind of gross. What? When somebody's hands are wet, wettish like that, clammy, you know? Mm. I don't want to hold them. He wasn't a nice guy, Hitler. I know. Did he ever come to your dad's house? No. No, huh? No. Nah. But did your dad ever go to his house? Hitler? Yeah. No. No? No. Nah. His friend did, Brun. And he, Brun was a very close friend of your dad's. Yeah. And he was a close confidant of Hitler. Yeah. Wow. And how did your dad come to know Brun? Well, they went to school together. Oh, it was a school chum. Yeah. Okay. So Brun and your father were, were pretty tight. Yeah. And your father's name was George? Yeah. He was, huh? Yeah. So he was Big George and you were Little George. Yeah. He was the king and you were the prince. <laughs> God, no. Oh, yeah, because your sister wanted to sit next to him at church. Yeah. And who who, who got that? I don't know. The priest would let her. Right. Who got to sit next to him in church? I did. Yeah, because you were the son, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know about a church, did it? Well, yeah, because, you know, for money. Yeah. Yeah. Because the male were the male inherited money. Yeah, yeah. And they get a, always a percentage of the church. Oh, right. Yeah. What is it, what is that? Every time you go back to Germany, what does the preacher? What does the the priest from that church in your little village? What does he tell you? Oh, we need money. Yeah. You told me every time he you go from the United States to visit Germany, the yeah. priests... Come. Yeah. He, he's one of the first ones to come. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't even sit down properly yet. <laughs> he shows up. I don't know how he knows it. <laughs> uh, You're funny, George. What? That's funny. Well, it's true. I know it's true, but it's funny. The true stories are the funniest ones. Yeah.